Hello and welcome to class activity number 16. So today we are going to take a look at the domain naming services server, DNS server. Remember the DNS server is the one that provides you with the destination IP address. Every device needs to have an IP address, a source IP address and a destination IP address. The source IP address is given to you by the DHCP server and the DNS server uh, and the destination IP address is given to you by the DNS server. That's why we type in names. We don't want to remember numbers. So we'll, that's where the DNS server comes in and helps us uh, resolve that name. So once we type in a name, your computer goes out to the DNS server, looks up the name and gives it to you as the destination IP address. Okay, um, so the first thing you do, you cache. Typically what happens is your computer has a DNS cache. It remembers all the names and the IP addresses that you have used previously. If it's not in the cache, it will go to the local DHCP uh, DNS server to look up the name. And if not, it will go outside, you know, and a typical DNS server that is public DNS server that is used by almost everyone is the Google DNS is the 8.8.8.8. Eventually, and if they can't find it, they'll pass it around till they find the name that you are looking for, unless the name doesn't exist, of course. All right, so DNS servers help you get the destination IP address. So we're gonna practice creating records in the DNS server, which is names associated with an IP addresses. Okay, so let's get started and we'll discuss some of this as we move along. Um, boot up the domain controller and also boot up the client. Uh, but you don't have to uh, log into the client PC, just log into the domain controller. And once you log into the domain controller, all right, um, I want you to open up the server manager where it, where it opens up completely. Um, since in the domain controller we have installed the Active Directory, you should have DNS installed already. And you can verify that by looking right here. If it's not, then you have to go and add it as a role. But you should have it. Um, once you have it installed, go to Tools, and let's open up the DNS right there. Click on it. All right, there's our computer. And we need to expand that. Expand the look forward. Expand the xyz.local. Let me just move this up here a little bit. And this is called a zone. A zone is the area where all the names and the associated IP addresses are. These are a whole bunch of hosts for you. We know that they, you know, this name is associated with the 192.168.6. That's our client. So the first, that, that's this is called a record. All of these are records in this zone. So let's create another zone with a different name for the same IP address. But before we do that, I want you to, well, no, we don't have to do that. Let's right click right in here and click on new A or quad A. A means that you want to create a record that is an IPv4 address. If you choose what A, that means the IP address that you're going to type in is um, an IPv6 address. All right, then you got the mail address and, and so on. But we'll discuss these in length. But let's, um, let's create a new host. Okay, the name of the host, let's just call it client. And, the, and it's going to be client.xyz.local. That's where he's going to be located. And his IP address is 192.168.10.6. Remember, we, that's the IP address of the, um, of the client PC. Click on it. And now say OK. Say done. And you have created a record. OK. Uh, Take a picture of this showing that you have created a record in our zone, in the XYZ zone. Let's test it out. If you go to the 
go in here and type CMD. So you get the command prompt. And I want you to type in, I want you to ping, type PING 192.168.10.6.6, right? That's the IP address of our client. And he should be up and running. And it replies. Should have put it that. Okay, now, if you ping the word client and hit enter, it also responds, right? So you don't need to remember his name. You just remember the name. So what your computer did is it took the name, looked up the DNS server, and pinged that IP address. How did it know, where, how did it know to go? Where is the DNS server? If you remember... The DNS server is located here. Let me show you. When you configured your NIC, remember that? I'm going to just quickly show you where it is. This is your IP address as a host. And if you double click right here and you go to properties, see? It says preferred DNS server is the local. That means come back to here and look for the DNS server right here. Otherwise, if you type in any IP address, that's where your computer will take the word client and look up the IP address. But here you are told, I am the local D DNS. That's the preferred one. If it doesn't find it here, you go to the alternate, right? All right. So, so therefore, when, you, when we're creating the HCP server, you want to make sure that we uh, we could do that. That you type in the IP address where the host should look up for names so you can get the destination IP address. All right? All right, so you took a picture of this. That's excellent. Okay, so let's continue. Um, I want you to clear the screen, type CLS. Go back to the command prompt, just type CLS. Here's the screen. I want you to type NS look up space and the name client all right so ns lookup helps us find out what the ip address of a specific name it could be www.microsoft.com it will tell you with the server and the name of it so in this case our name is client and it's located in this domain xyz.local and here's its ip address let's do a reverse lookup type NS lookup space and let's type in the IP address 192.168.10.6 so we can go backwards and it's saying it's not DNS request timed out okay because we don't have a D we don't have a reverse lookup set up so we will do that and we will actually get this done all right, so let's do a reverse lookup where we can actually type in a name and you'll be able to get, uh, type in an IP address and it will reverse and look up the name for you. All right, so to create a reversed lookup zone, come back to the DNS, expand the reverse lookup, and right click on it, go to new zone. All right, click on next. You want to create a primary reverse zone click on next all right uh to all dns server running click on next Leave that. we want to do it for ipv4 addresses click on next and type in the network address 192.168.10 okay that's the network address of the reverse lookup click on next allow secure dynamic updates okay that's fine you know, from the Active Directory, you can constantly get that. Click on Next, and that's it. All right. So if you go right here, and let's create a new pointer. You know, just right-click right in here. And uh, the host IP address is 192.168.10.6, right? And the name, hey, let's make it, keep it as a client, right? All right, so there's your reverse lookup, right? An IP address with a name. Could be any name. 
take a snapshot of this, put it at the bottom of your lab. And now if you come back here to the command prompt and type NS lookup, you see I did it already, space, and type in the IP address, you want to look up this name, and it will tell you the name is client, right? Take a snapshot of this. Okay, just a couple of more things. Um, let's go back and click on the forward lookup right here in the XYZ in this zone. Let's cre just create an IPv4 address. So type in uh, the name, let's say um, client2, I don't know. And if you type in the IP address, an IPv6 address. It's going to be a quad for. I wanted to show you that. So let's say type 2001 colon 8db colon ACAD colon and subnet 1 colon colon 2. Right? This is an IPv6 address. Let's create an associated pointer to it and add the host and say okay and say done you see it's a quad a because we typed in an ip address to it and if you go in the reverse lookup and i think it's supposed to reload okay we're good we only have a pointer and we're, we're i'm not going to do that so there's your IPv6 address. You could do that. You could do MX for mail addresses if you want and so on. But we'll discuss more about the records and what they are and how can they be done. So um, so this is really what the DNS is for. You can create the names and the associated IP addresses. You may, usually we don't do reverse IP addresses. The only other thing I want you to do is Right click on the XYZ local and go to properties. And in here, I mean, you could take a look at all of this, the security, the start of the authority, the name service, but look at the, uh, the, start, the, the, the zone transfers. Zone transfers means that um, if you click on allow zone transfers, that means the whole zone with the records will be transferred to another server you know uh, immediately without you being involved to any server so if you check that your dns server will transfer all the names in here and that's very dangerous you don't want to do that because if you click on this all right so all the names will be transferred over anybody can tap into the chain you know do dns poisoning where they can actually change the IP address or the name of somebody, they'll, they'll be given the wrong IP address and so on. So um, right in here, I want you to take a picture. Unclick this because I don't want you to click that. All right, so once you do that, that's it. Once you take a screenshot of this, this is the end of lab uh, class activity number 16. And I will see you in class activity 17. Shut everything down. And I'll see you in a few.